Hey, what's happening everyone? It's the RC Genius. Today I have got another how-to video and this video is going to be uh, with my very first RC plane. I've never actually flown this plane before. Um, I've had it for probably a year, maybe actually two years uh, now, and I've never flown it. However, I do have plans that I'm going to fly it uh, in the next few days, hopefully. I'm not going to make any promises, but I'm really hoping I'm going to get to fly this thing. But today, I've got an instructional video that I have unfortunately learned the hard way in the past. And uh, this, is, this video is f so that way you don't have to experience what I experienced. So what I will be doing is I will be telling you, I'll be showing you how to set up the uh, rudder, the aileron, uh, elevators, sorry, and the ailerons on a airplane, an RC airplane. So let's go ahead and let's just get started. And uh, I hope that this really helps you trying to set up your RC plane. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do to get this uh, set up, I'm going to move my camera little bit closer here. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to plug in my plane. There we go. Now it's on. Now I've got my controller right here. I'm going to turn it on and now it is synced. So for those of you who are wondering, this is an Airfield brand uh, P-51 Mustang. This is, I believe, the larger version. I don't know for sure. I think it's like an 800 millimeter wingspan plane. It's pretty large. I don't know what I really have to compare it to. Maybe just a, a monster truck tire. Uh, you can kind of see there. It's a pretty, pretty decent sized uh, hobby grade plane. And it was only like 80 bucks or something. I don't know. I got it off of uh, nitroplanes.com. Definitely check them out. Maybe I'll put a link in the description. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm I wondered this this question went through my head myself and uh, I basically am making this video so that way you guys don't have to worry about it and it's basically which way do do I set up my flaps and or my ailerons on the on the wings so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come back a little bit and I think the first one I'm gonna do I'm gonna go like this. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up your rudder. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up your rudder. This is a very easy one. So your rudder is going to be this red uh, uh, tail right here. On the remote, how you uh, how you move the tail is with uh, the left stick right here. So what you want to do is to s simply set it up. I'm going to go ahead and go right there, okay. When you're setting it up, you when you turn it to the left, you want your uh, rudder to go to the left. So it's like that. Just like that. Now when you push this one up, this is, this is your throttle. So right there. There's your throttle, okay. Now... That one's very easy, and if you're, in case you're wondering, uh, the simple way to just reverse this instead of having to go through the the plane and and try to reverse it on the on the remote here, there will be uh, some servo reverse switches. So let me, there we go. So right here, if I take my uh, rudder and I just go ahead and switch it, now it will go opposite, just like so. So I'm gonna push it back up and then we're back in the correct position. So that's how you do that one. Next one is going to be the elevator. This one's very important. This is the one that gets you up in the sky. Uh, so I'm going to get my camera to... F there we go. So how this one works is it's all about knowing how the, the wind hits the plane. So when you're going up, uh, so on the remote you pull this up, uh, to you pull it back towards you to, to make the plane go higher. So what you want to do is you want, when you pull it back towards you, you want the elevators to come up. And when you push it away from you, you want them to go down. So let me go ahead and try and move the camera a bit more like that. So you can see. 
So I'm going to pull it towards me, and it goes up. I'm going to push it away from me, and it goes down. And again, if you want to uh, reverse it, you just go like that, and then it's going to go opposite. So I'm going to switch it back the way it was, and there you go. And then the last one is the elevator, is the ailerons, sorry. Um, the ailerons, these ones, if you mess these up, you can have a very bad accident, and I've already had that problem. So, how it works is when you turn the right stick uh, right, you want the right uh, aileron, you want the right aileron to go up. So, there really is not an easy way to get this. This plane is kind of too big for my shop here, but I guess that's kind of a good, good way to see it. So if I'm I'm going to turn it to the right and you see the left one the left one goes down and the right one goes up. There you go and then when you go to the left you want the left one to go up and the right one to go down. Just like that. And then again if you want to switch it and there you go. And that's how you reverse that. So that's uh, that's how you do that. So then, once that's all done, then you're ready to pretty much fly, and you don't have to worry about which way am I going to turn. I don't want to be turning backwards. I have had this happen in the past, and that's why this is currently my only plane. So I've made this video. Hopefully, uh, people find it very helpful. I hope that you... Uh, use the tips and you don't try to just kind of estimate yourself uh... you don't try to just do it yourself uh... and you take my word on this you can go ahead and google it uh... there's plenty of other videos out there so yeah so leave a comment down below if you want to see this airplane fly and also make sure you subscribe and uh... drop a like too if you like this video and uh, also make sure that you share my videos so that way we can get some more people watching. And also, if you haven't already, uh, hit that bell icon next to my subscribe button and then you'll be notified every time that I upload so that way you won't miss a video. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time on the RC Genius.